What is going on, YouTube? Patreon first. Patreon, y'all can get it first. All right. The because the last one the YouTube members got first. This one, Patreon, you guys are gonna get first. And I appreciate each and every one of you. But what's going on, you guys? Um, you know, I just want to say, hey, see how y'all doing this wonderful Saturday afternoon. It is 8-8. The Lions Gate is now officially open. I know they say there's a range, but 8-8 is when the Lions Gate. If you follow that, it's officially open because eight as the symbol of infinity is double eight, double infinity. And you're locking a time of everlasting manifestation. So I'm like, you know what? If I am really, y'all know, moving stuff around. <laughs> but um, like my energy is high. I feel great. And I just really wanted to connect with you guys because, you know, you guys never cease to amaze me. I dropped the last video and I wasn't really happy with it. Um. You know, I'm happy with the knowledge that I was trying to convey, but not the manner in which I conveyed it. Because, you know, I haven't been talking to y'all as much as I've been, you know, matriculating through life and things like that. And I'm like, it's still, you know, I feel like my shyness coming back. <laughs> but I'm working on it. I'm working on it. And speaking of working on it and working on me, guys, this is officially day three of my 30 days of rebuilding. Day number three with no alcohol. Day number three of working out. Day number three of sticking to my diet. And, you know, if you guys want to continue this fast with me, I remember I told you, you guys didn't have to start until Monday. Some of you started already and you're hitting me up on the text line and it is great. And, you know, let, let's encourage each other. All right. Um, yeah, let's just do that. Other announcement that I wanted to make is, <clears throat> guys, um, my YouTube members, my Patreon, you guys have your own separate Discord server where we can chat in real time we can um you guys can message me privately you can message each other privately something that patreon and um and the youtube membership does not offer but if we're going to be a community it can't just be y'all listening to me y'all talking to me when i talk to y'all no you I, I wanted to create something where you guys could talk to each other and we found that and we've been having a good time and the links only last for 24 hours so when i post one click it sign up the app is very simple to use and um, let's keep this going, even when, like, you know, like there's an off time. All right. Even when there's an off time. But, you know, one thing I wanted to talk about today is, you know, <clears throat> I know a lot of you guys, you know, you wake up to Hoodoo and you immediately start to Google. And then, unfortunately, a lot of you end up on a marketeer's website and you buy incense and you buy candles and powders and stuff like that. And then you kind of find me and then, you know, you have all this stuff that you can't use. Well, I'm going to show you a way that you can use it. All right. Now, <clears throat> eventually, <clears throat> excuse me, I'll, I will talk about the history of hoodoo, the, how we moved from the plantation to like, you know, like moving up north to places where we could not work with as many roots and herbs. So we kind of transitioned to oils and powders and incense and stuff like that. But I want to give you guys one of the first workings I've ever learned. And it's not just a working. It's an actual ritual that you can adapt for um, like any manner of condition. And it utilizes um, all you need is a condition candle and a condition incense. And that is it. And I promise you it is powerful. It's one of the first ones I learned from my grandmother, because ironically, my grandmother obviously is older than my dad. But when she moved from the country to the city, which I mean, it's still in Georgia and, and, you know, she moved to Atlanta. It's still country. Trust me. Y'all hear my accent. Um, she transitioned to move, using like more powders and um, incense and condition candles. Whereas my daddy, my daddy moved up here, but he went back to the country. He's still down in Macon, Georgia. As he says, the original Georgia prophet down in Macon, Georgia. <laughs> And speaking of speaking, of my daddy, I had a long talk with him and he is so excited about Hoodoo family reunion or Hoodoo reunion weekend and stuff like that. You know, he hates that we have to have it virtually. And I hate that, too. But, you know, just, we just want to keep everybody safe just because you're spiritual don't mean you impervious. And we ain't no fools out here in the broken army. All right. So it's still going on. If you have not gotten in yet, definitely get in. <clears throat> so. Without further ado, let me switch cameras, all right? And we're gonna get into this ritual that you can adapt. And when you see how I set it up, it is so simple, but it's extremely powerful. And 
this ritual, when you see it, don't think, oh, that's it. No, it's extremely powerful. Um, and it's something that you can keep going for an extended period of time. And remember, especially when you're new, things don't become as much of a one and done type of working. And you've got to keep hitting things because some days you have more energy than others. To my whole tepper, some days your vibration is higher than others. So this is something you do continuously to bring about whatever it is you are trying to draw to you. All right. So I'm trying to think, do I want to do it here and just angle the camera down like I did before? No, I know what I'm going to do. All right. Be right back, guys. All right, guys, and here we are. Now, we're on top of my mantelpiece, and I'm kind of poised precariously up here. All right, so you see we have the condition candle. Pay no attention to the splashes on the wall. That's what happens when you're a worker. And we have a plate with some powdered incense. Now, I know you guys have bought some of that powdered incense before. Don't act. You know, you went to the marketeer site, and it may have come in a bag like this or it came in a, in a canister or whatever, and then you found me, you're like, dang, I got all this bull crap at home and I can't use it. Well, yes, you can, because the very first ritual I learned from my grandmother was just to take some of that powdered incense, put it on a plate like that, light a candle, and then what you do is you light the incense Just one spoonful. And as it burns, you recite the 23rd Psalm. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his namesake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou prepares the table before me in the face of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. And then you let that burn out. And then every day, every day, until the desired outcome is achieved, you burn another spoonful and you recite the 23rd Psalm again. Now, the crazy part is this. Remember I told y'all you can adapt this to anything? Well, what happens if you use some love drawing incense and a love drawing candle? Same 23rd Psalm. Remember we went over that. The 23rd Psalm can work for every condition, right? Look at that. And then we just saw a little flash right there. Now, here's the kicker, guys. And y'all are going to love this. You know, right here is my ancestor altar. Now, as you can see, my ancestor altar is getting a bit full. It's getting a bit full. And remember I told you, you let your altars grow organically. Let them grow organically. So now, what does this become? A little mini money altar. And yes, you could just recycle different things. But you will come to a point where, you know, you want to use a second plate for something else. Well, that's why I burn my Palo Santo. But a second plate for something else. And then you have like a mini love altar. And then what will happen is your ancestor altar will just be for them, which, you know, mine like to work. So, but yours may just want a place of honoring for them. Mine like to work. Yours may just want a place for them. So at that point, that money working turns into a money altar. And you can put other things there. You can put like a little jade elephant and stuff like that over there. All right. So... I told you this is going to be very short and very simple, but very effective. And it's ongoing. It can be ongoing. You just put more incense and more candles and you keep on working it. Work your space. Okay. Work your space. All right. So let me go back and sit down. We close this video out. And I want to see how many of you guys start working this. Now I'll give you a little, you know, a few little tips and tricks. But, you know, let me know how you like this video. Let me know um, how you like, you know, the, the way the channel is going. And let me know if you guys are doing this challenge with me. All right, let's go from there.
All right, guys. Sorry. So I'm back here and the smell of incense is going through the house. And I want to give you a few tips and tricks for making that very simple ritual. Because that's what it is. It's a ritual um, work for you. And, you know, I'm just going most of you guys have heard this before, but I'm going over it for the people who are, may, may just find this video. Right. Let me get back into like my old self. And, you know, as far as that, I have some of you guys who have been with me from video number one. And I appreciate it from the old house, the old rocking chair and things like that. And a lot of you have like sent me messages, emails saying you're disappointed in like the quote unquote new me, which is not the new me. It's just another aspect of myself. We all have several facets of our personality, like the different faces of a diamond. You know, some shine brighter than others. And I completely understand that. Completely understand that. And I understand on a deeper level because I am my own worst critic. You know, front, back, side to side. That's that old school UGK. <laughs> you know, I do. Um, you know, some of it is because of life changes. You know, people entering and exiting my life or exiting and then entering my life or whatever the case may be. You know, money woes and, you know, want to do more for you guys, do more for the community. Stresses I put on myself, stresses life put on me, things like that. And it's not an excuse, but I want to use this for a teachable moment. Guys, just because you're spiritual and you become a worker does not mean that life stops. OK, it doesn't mean that life in like like problems in and things like that. What spirituality should do for you is this. And y'all heard me say it before. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil because I'm the meanest son of a bitch in the valley. At one time I was. Now I'm a big old softy. I've been here crying in front of y'all and stuff like that. And with that being said, spirituality does not, you know, negate the negativity. It doesn't negate life. What it does is it allows you to meet it head on and to come out the other side. And one thing you guys have seen who've been with me from the beginning no matter what, no matter what controversy, haters, whatever, I always come through the other side. And that's what I want to preach to you, to you guys. Let your spirituality allow you to come through the other side instead of like being stuck. A lot of people come to hoodoo and voodoo, Palo, Orisha, whatever, because you're like stuck and you're stagnant in life. Stagnation is that slow, painful death. And I don't wish that on anybody. Well, a couple of people. But for the broken army, we're going to punch through it. And this ritual that I just showed you, so simple that you can use the stuff you done bought from Lucky Mojo and, and doggone Conjure Cardi and all the other stuff. I'm going to show you how to use, use it correctly. And that's what I just did. This is how you use it correctly. All right. Now, tips and tricks. Um, like I said, if you've been here in the beginning, you've heard this before. That was a money draw. Right. Money drawing candle, money drawing incense. You saw how green it was. Right. When you are lighting that incense and when you are praying, you should be smelling money, feeling money, tasting money. And here's the thing. You want to use the most potent uh, memory that you have. Now, a lot of us as little kids, we put change in our mouth. You remember how that tasted? You put some change in me. Like, Think about that. All right. Think about. Money so you spitting it out. Think about when you go to the ATM and you can tell they just restocked it because those bills are so fresh. They stick together. You can't even fan them out. They stick together. Y'all know what I'm talking about. That exhilaration when you scratch a scratch off and it, 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 might, it may just say $20, but to you, you just hit big. Think about that. If you're doing that for love, you should think about that happy moment when it's still butterflies, when you haven't been jaded enough to have all the butterflies fly in the right direction, which is generally wrong because you run people off. But you feel that like if, if your crush texts you or the person that you wish would text you just text, hey, Instead of, you know, that text would make you want to pick up the phone and call and be like, what did I do now? OK, you know, think about the happy memories, the memories that you look back on and smile and not like uh, meaning. Don't be if you don't if you're doing a money drawing ritual, 
do not be thinking about your bills. I know that money when it comes in is going to go to bills, but don't think about your bills. That is lacking. So you don't want to do money drawing with the spirit of lacking because you'll meet in the middle and then you will be stagnant. Do not allow your emotions to stagnate your magic. All right. Somebody put that in the in the comment section. Do not allow your emotions to stagnate your magic. All right. And uh, with that being said, man, um, the only thing I want to close out on is I want to do a live stream. But the thing is, and I'll be honest with you guys, you know, you know, I'm like day three with no alcohol in my system. And I feel I told you, I feel my shyness coming back. And I'm like, man, you know. Shoot, I don't want to get there and be like, ah, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> but anyway, I'm just kidding. Guys, it has been a pleasure. It will be a pleasure for many years to come. And, um, man, um, stop putting your light up under a bushel. Let it shine. Spirit wanted me to tell somebody that. So hopefully that resonated. All right? All right, guys. Thank you all so much. And um, let me know what you think about this video. And um, shoot, hit, hit me with the thumbs up, and we'll keep this party going. All right. Peace out. No, oh, since y'all did the 150 likes, I'm going to go further in depth into petition papers. Now, if you only do what I said in the last video, your petitions are like spot on. But I'm going to show you how to really dial those things in and how the marketeers have got y'all messed up telling y'all to like circle your name with dollar signs. That's what you already got going on. It's money flowing around us right now. So why you want to write a petition that'll do more of what it is? You want the money flowing to you. And I'll tell y'all this. Y'all know my Discord channels are for the YouTube members and for Patreon. There's an Easter egg about what another video idea is. I'll give you a hint. It was up on the altar. If y'all can tell me in the comment section below, the first one that is not a YouTube member or a Patreon member um, will get an invite to the Discord. All right. Thank y'all so much. Have a good one. God bless. Broken Army. Take care of yourselves and each other. Shout out to uh, Jerry Springer. Peace.